Hi, I'm Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter in Rapid City, South Dakota. Today we're going to tie a soft tackle. I'm going to tie it with uh, some kind of updated materials for the body and thorax, but uh, the soft tackle technique will be the same. The soft tackle uh, has been around for a long time, has been fished for probably a hundred years or maybe much longer than that, uh, and it still remains very effective, so they're very much worthwhile tying and putting a bunch in your box. And they're not that hard to tie. But learning how to hackle with a soft tackle is, is um, a nice skill and gives you the ability to add a soft tackle to many of the standard nymph patterns that you might tie already. But here for a kind of a classic style soft tackle, we're going to start with our thread right behind the eye of the hook, wrap about a third of the way back, trim off our excess, and for the body on this fly, instead of like a silk, silk uh, floss, I'm going to use Midge Diamond Braid. Kind of a nice flashy braided crystal flash. Tie that down, then come back to your tie-in point. Wrap that for your body up to your thread. When you get to your thread, tie that off. And we'll trim off our excess. I'm going to double little thorax with some Nature Spirit Emergence dubbing in a brown color. I believe this is PMD brown, but it's just kind of a nice chocolatey brown. Make a nice round thorax that are soft tackle really stand up off of. Okay, and then we're going to use instead of a partridge feather, which you very much could use on this fly, I'm going to use a whiting brahma hen feather, which has got some nice speckling to it. And the first thing I'm going to do is prepare that feather by grabbing it by the tip and then folding all the fibers back. so that I get a little bit of a triangle up at the tip of the feather. I'm going to trim that down, that triangle at the front. So it's just a little nub that I can use to tie in the feather with. And I'll take and set that nub in, tie that down. Now, we're ready to do our soft tackle. First thing you need to do is kind of lift that hackle feather up and fold back those fibers so they sweep back. Do this carefully so you don't break your feather. But fold those back. Now we can wrap our feather by just making a couple of wraps. We don't need lots and lots of soft tackle on here. But as you wrap, make sure you fold those back, those fibers on this feather back. You've got one and a half turns or so. You can go ahead and tie that feather off. And I just kind of fold the whole lot back. Tie that down a bit. Now, trim off your excess. Just kind of go on with your fingers and sweep all that back. Now, go ahead and just make a couple more wraps for your head. And then we're going to do our whip finish or half hitch, whichever you prefer. We'll trim off our excess thread. So that's just kind of a basic soft tackle. It's got a nice flashy body that you could imitate a uh, merging caddis with, or also an egg laying caddis. Very, uh, you know, adaptable pattern. You can change the body color and the thorax color and the type of hackle you use. But a really lifelike fly one to, when it gets in the water due to those soft tackle fibers really moving around. So tie up some soft tackles and put them to use. 
Uh, it's a really versatile fly that you can use to imitate pretty much any insect. So tie them in a few different sizes, a few different colors, and away you go. Again, I'm Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter in Rapid City, South Dakota. Check out our blog for any uh, or for several other fly patterns. And if you need any tying materials, feel free to give the shop a call and we'll set you up with what you need. Thanks. Bye.